top could be mitigated at the rate of 12 acres every five years. 66 acres. Now, this is not 12 acres of land, it's 12 acres of footprint of, of what you cover. You know, what your house covers and what your driveway covers. So it's a lot of land. It's a lot of, it's a huge amount of land. 66 acres doesn't sound like a lot if it's land, but if it's buildings, it's a lot. So we just strung it. We took the commercial part of that and we said, if we put one continuous store 60 foot deep, look what you get. That's how much mitigation there is. In other words, you cover every single, you can have a continuous store at 14 miles long on both sides of the road. Next. And if you were to build houses, if you were to build little houses like this, what's the footprint of these? 1,500. If you were to build houses with 1,500 square foot footprints, which is say 3,000 square foot houses of two stories, right, like these, you could actually put it on both sides, on the both sides, every road you have. So there's a lot of footprint. There, let me put it this way. There is no shortage of the 66. Don't worry about it. The only problem is that it's very hard. It's just costly to get it for your house. So uh, I know some people are going to battle over the 66. That's not your problem. Now, some of the numbers. In the old comprehensive plan, there were 7,150 units capped. You were capped that way. Uh, why you were capped that way, they have secret formulas. Um, it changes all the time, uh, and who knows how you arrived at this one. I've heard some great stories, like your elected officials had a huge fight with Tallahassee, they took revenge, you know, that's better than the usual story. Uh, but you do have a cap, and there's some talk about raising it to 9,000 or whatever. You actually don't need it. You don't need to raise it, okay, because you can hardly use the 7,100, as you will see. So that's another battle. I mean, if you want to let people raise it, raise it. It won't be used in your lifetime or your kids' lifetimes. In other words, that's a non-problem, okay, raising the cap. Somebody might get a few votes for that, but it's not going to work. Okay, you already have, as of 2012, you have 3,800 units built. You have 33 to go. This key of yours is going to double, okay? And that's, there's nothing much you can do about it because it's permitted even in the old very constrained DCA, Tallahassee, in control days. It's controlled. And of these, an astonishing of these, this is what the boom was like, an astonishing 2,850 have development rights because they submitted their, one of these incoherent proposals I was referring to. There's only 450. You know what? If all we had to do was work with 450, it's not worth our time. That won't affect your lifestyle. We need to work with all of these. We need to take the last half of your growth, the second half of your growth, and put it in a master plan. And a lot of it is remedial. It isn't just more stuff. Every new unit has to remedy a situation. You know, has to, has to hide a parking lot, you know, make a, a neighborhood center, etc. You, you're in a remedial mode, not just a growth mode. So uh, the, the proposal we have is to make it so attractive that all of these 3,300 units in total are going to want to come back and be replanned so that you can get your town center. Next. These are the condos that you have. Now, just one little detail, okay? Just trust me on this, okay? You have 18-story condos. You may need to get 30-story for hotels, okay? For a hotel, hotels are, you've heard me say this before, I need to repeat. There's a big difference between a condo and a hotel from your point of view. A condo keeps you off the beach. A condo gates you away. No parking, no beach, no nothing. Okay? You're unwelcome. A hotel is the exact opposite. It welcomes you. Every hotel, even the snobbiest, will let you in the lobby, let you use the beach, you know. They'll charge you for the towel, but they'll give you a towel, and, and you can buy a drink and they'll park your car. A hotel is an amazing thing. It's, it's one of the most generous things you can have in America. If you can incentivize hotels, by all means, the more hotels you have, the better. Every hotel gives you access. It's one of the things that makes Miami Beach so great. Miami Beach has very few condos on the beach. It has hotels, so we all just go in and use the beach. That's why Miami Beach is so great. So we want to incentivize hotels, particularly because hotels really need to be on the beach. Okay, a little detail. They're really, it's very inefficient to park cars on this side. 
on the south side because it's a very shallow lot and there's a coastal setback line. These condos over here had a very easy time because the lots are deep. In Alabama, they also seem to be deeper, the lots. But you really can't afford to build parking garages. So I think the condos that will be built in the future will tend to be the smaller ones. Okay, because you basically, there, there literally isn't the land and the money to build, to build the parking. So we're going to draw them as 18, which is I think what the code expects. We don't want a down zone. But honestly, we think they're going to be 10 and 8. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, you have an 18-story building. Okay. Once you're at 18 stories, it doesn't matter whether it's 30. You just can't tell. Okay, now, you can tell that it's 4. You can tell that it's 8. But once you're at 18, 18 and 30. So what we're proposing in the code is that hotels be incentivized by being granted the 30 stories. Okay, the 30 stories, and I, I, we're, we worked on 30 because a study was done for a hotel, you know, a real architectural study, which we would have done if we'd had the time, but we didn't have to because it was done. And the hotels, to be viable, to get the 250 rooms for luxury hotels and all the public rooms and the, and the convention centers and so forth, I mean, the conference centers on the first floor, 30 is what, is what, what allows them to be built on lots like this of this size. So our code will say that, 30. Okay, and by the way, you can look forward to 10-story condos, not because we say anything, but because that's where the parking goes. <coughs> Next. These are already permitted. That's the footprint and the height, these blue ones. They're already in process. And then these are the ones that could easily happen, you know, in the good old days. Now, this is what's really interesting about it. You see, you see all these buildings, this wall of buildings? That only accommodates between 500 and 1,000 units you still have another 2,500 to put somewhere, you know, up and down the beach. So you're, that's why I'm saying you don't need more density. You don't need to up this to 9,000 cash because where are you going to put them? Okay. So what will happen is, I don't think these are very viable in the future. They're, it's too big an increment of investment. It's too risky. I think that smaller, smaller quadruplexes, duplexes, townhouses and houses are much more likely to happen because the investment isn't that large. The developers and the banks don't have to take such risk. That's my experience elsewhere. We've actually gone up and down our projects. We had projects that were quite dense, and I spent the last two years downzoning them so they could be built, because they couldn't get the big loan. So, but I put this down because this is possible, <coughs> up and down the line. I don't think it's gonna happen. By the way, we're not forbidding this, understand? We're not preventing this, it's just unlikely to happen. Our main interest is what happens to the north. Okay. The north, which has so little value. There's so little value. Don't Look at it. Butler building pizza joint, half-dead shopping center, you know. And that's the problem. The problem is that Florida, idiotically, sells the coast, and then the back is fallow. No one, you know, it's, it's worth almost nothing. We'd like to make that, 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 that value in depth. I'm going to show you a study we did of our projects. Uh, the seaside, you know, in, in 30A, of the land value, of the value 400 feet inside. Not on the coast, any idiot can sell coast, 400 feet inside. <coughs>